Hi everyone, it's Tatiana. Alright, I want to talk about pregnancy again, but this time I have some development um, and it's not new because apparently I have this every pregnancy. So anyways, let me start with this. I am week 11 today. Uh, yeah, today's Friday, so I'm week 11. Uh, and I went to the doctor for my regular checkup. The heartbeat is fine. Um, then he was explaining about my blood work from the previous uh, uh, visit, which I think I was about seven weeks then. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, he, they did find this rare blood I want to say it's blood type or they call it antibodies actually it's called kale or like he says it's called anti-kale some people call it kale I don't know or, or anti-k something like that so I don't know what's the exact name for it but I did see on my blood work the result it did say anti-kale so anti-k-e-l-l -L. that's what it says so I've heard of that with my first pregnancy. I had to kind of be monitored uh, a little bit closely by the high risk um, um, department um, just to make sure that the blood does not go into the placenta, something like that. Now, mind you, I don't know. Is that, like when they explain this to me, I still don't understand it as well. So, so I just really need to. You know, I'm a researcher. I like to dig in, and I've been digging since my first pregnancy. That was 2015, and I'm still trying to figure it out, understand this. So, okay, so kale, anti kale is in my blood somehow, and and it can it should not cross the placenta, otherwise it's going to attack the baby, right? So then today I learned that not only that anti kale is showing. In my blood, my blood, there's also an anti Lewis. Yeah, anti Lewis is <laughs> showing on my blood, my blood as well. So that one, I have absolutely no idea what that is. So when I went back and looked, because I keep record of all my blood work, um, I went back and looked at my second child blood work. Um, it's showing there too. So maybe it's something that my doctor missed. I'm not sure but we never talked about anti Lewis for my second one and even with my second one it was anti he the blood my blood did show anti kill anti um, bodies, but we did not um, I was not referred to a high risk I don't think I was referred to the high risk one um, No, maybe I, I did go one time to check on something else I think it was fluid but it was nothing related to that so but I had no idea that in my second pregnancy the anti kale was still present I didn't know but although in my research I have found out that all my pregnancies will have I will have anti kale so from my understanding it sounds like a blood type like blood type O negative that when you have that you got to be careful and go get a shot so that you know your blood doesn't attack the babies but in this particular case I know like with blood O negative you get a shot but with this one it doesn't sound like you get a shot um, they have to monitor it so that again if the baby if the baby does become does get attacked um, he, the baby will start losing blood and you're gonna, you're gonna need to do a blood transfusion. That's my understanding. I'm not sure if I'm making sense. Um, again, it, I'm, probably, I'm probably not making sense because it's something that is not talked about and it's very rare that I'm finding information about other women that have um, heard of this. So I, I'm, it's new to me, it's still new to me. So at this point, um, the doctor has requested another blood work, so I'm going to get that done tomorrow. And um, and he asked me to call him on Tuesday, so more than likely I'm suspecting he's going to refer me to the, um, the high-risk um, clinic so that they can monitor and check to make sure that um, 
you know, the baby is not going to be attacked or anything like that. So, yeah. I, I, I don't know what all of that is about. But in all things, we thank God. We trust God. We don't worry about those type of things because it's out of our control. Like, it's not, like, I have no control over it. I have no idea what it is anyways. I don't understand it. So, I'm going to leave it up to God. But I'm pretty confident and okay because this has obviously been an occurrence in all my pregnancies. And my kids came out fine. Um, so, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> but I just wanted to update you guys. Um... The pregnancy is okay. I, I'm really tired. I feel like I'm on my third trimester. All I want to do is sleep. I'm not eating as much as my first and second pregnancies. I, I've actually gone up and down with my weight. Now I'm back to 134 or 135 today. No, actually 134. So, um, I still want to eat spicy food. That helps a lot with my... Um, I have like bitter taste on my to on my tongue, and if I don't eat spicy food, I pretty much feel like yuckiness in my mouth <laughs> all the time. So that's all. Um, if anybody has ever heard about this anti kale and anti Lewis um, anti antibodies in the blood. RH factor, all that stuff, please let me know. Or if you have a video about that that you think it may, it may be educational to me, um, that would be great because I don't understand it. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks. Bye.